We are on the storm watch again tonight. A flood advisory in Miami Day just lifted minutes ago. Thunderstorms soaking parts of the county, bringing gusty winds and torrential downpours, and that caused trouble on the streets with flooding and high winds on the turnpike that sent a tractor trailer rolling over. Thousands of FPL customers were also impacted by the storm. At one point, more than 10,000 were without power. Chopper 4 shows FPL crews out on the streets working to restore service. At last check, more than 3,800 are without power, and tonight, the cleanup is just beginning. CBS 4's Hank Tester is in southwest Miami-Dade right now with a look at the damage there, Hank. This neighborhood is just north of Metro Zoo and east of the Turnpike. There was damage here. The poles are down, power poles are down, several utility poles. Folks here tell us the storm felt like it was a tornado. Let's look at some video. Let me show you what this was like in this neighborhood from the air. We had Chopper 4 flying above a short time ago. We didn't spot any structural damage to homes, but there are a good number of trees down and some fences. The roads are really dangerous too. Look at this incredible video a viewer sent us. This is the turnpike on the southbound lanes at Northwest 20th Street. The wind got so bad it overturned a big truck. Amazingly, nobody hurt. And this is a two-part storm. Last night, take a look at this video a viewer sent us. It was shot yesterday in the Gables. You see right there a big lightning strike. We don't know if that strike was the reason for it, but the Gables did have power outages last night. And at Miami International Airport, they tell us they were fixing this big leak. It sprang up at the height of the storms last night at gate H. 17. So back live here, you can see uh, behind me here that pole is down. We did talk to some neighbors. They said it was pretty scary. They thought it was either a tornado or a hurricane. It was that intense. We'll have what they have to say and more from this location tonight for you at 11. Reporting, I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News at 7. Back to you.